Hey everyone, it's Lori McGuire with Remax McGuire team in beautiful Monarch Beach, Orange County, California. And I am at an incredible listing of mine, which is in Monarch Bay Terrace. It's in Monarch Beach. You'll see the Pacific uh, Coast, the Pacific Ocean right behind me. And this is literally a five minute walk to the ocean. So I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to let you see a great view of the spectacular listing. I have it on the market right now for $2.2 million to $2 million, uh, three ninety-eight. And you're probably wondering, a lot of people always ask, Lori, why do you price in these ranges sometimes? And it's because it gets the property in the MLS under both price points. So there could be that perfect buyer who's looking up to 2.2 million that wouldn't know about the home if it's priced at 2.4 million or 2.35 million. Obviously our goal is to sell the property within the range, not at the 2.2. Two. Uh, but we want to encourage as many showings as possible. It's a spectacular home. And uh, most of the properties in this neighborhood sell in the 3 million range. So two to really 4 million range. So um, let me turn this around and I'm gonna have you see all the incredible views. Okay, let me I can do this. Here we go. All right. So look at this. This is from the back of the home. There's, um, it's really, really quiet. And uh, you can see the coastline there. Um, that's the St. Regis over there. Um, and that's uh, Salt Creek Beach. You have the waves breaking. And what's really a wonderful advantage of living in this community is you can join Oh, well, anyone actually can join the uh, Monarch Beach Resort, which is only five minutes away. And by joining the Monarch Beach Resort, you're also a member of the Monarch Bay Resort. Uh, there's what's called an elite membership package. So uh, let me just keep taking you through. This is like the backyard. What I would do, um, and I'll continue telling you about the Monarch Beach Resort package and everything. Um, hey, Matt, good to see you. Um, I would put a jacuzzi right there. That would be the perfect spot. And uh, also, by the way, these trees, or these little shrubberies, um, are supposed to be trimmed, so you wouldn't have that. But you have those incredible views, and when the boat races are going on, you can see the boats going by, you can see, you know, uh, whales, you can see everything. And uh, this is the back of the house. So you'll see there's an awning that goes out. And then let me just kind of take you through, I'm doing it, the opposite way of how I usually show homes. Of course, I usually show homes by going in through the front door. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to take advantage of the ocean views. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I did today here at the house. All right, um, I'm with the architect. I'm gonna go out through the front door. Okay, this is the front of the house. I'm gonna first show you the neighborhood. Okay, this is Monarch Bay Terrace. This is such a desirable, community. I'm just going to go um, look up and down the street. You'll see most of these homes are single levels, which is so desirable. And this is a beach community. I don't know if you can see the, the leaves flowing. You know, they're all kind of flowing in the wind. And uh, because this, these are ocean breezes. The Pacific Ocean is literally just beyond this hill. But what's great about this home is you don't back up to any roads. So it's really, really quiet. Okay, now picture the front of this home. I know it doesn't look absolutely stunning right now, but I've already met with a lot of people and this is what we have to do as real estate agents. Um, I've already met with people who are already set to do the uh, colored con concrete. We even got an estimate for pavers, an estimate for new garage doors, um, also an estimate for if someone wants to do a little facelift on the house with new paint. In the meantime, what we're doing, and we should have this by tomorrow, we're doing a um, virtually staged photo of the exterior showing the colored concrete, the garage doors, and new paint, and the seller will honor a uh, credit for that or have it done before close of escrow. And we agents have to think outside of the box. If someone says it doesn't have good curb appeal, but the home is amazing, we need to look past that and figure out a way 
to overcome that objection. So, and obviously there's things that we could do in this area. It's a spectacular home. It's a great price because I've sold homes in this neighborhood where they don't have a view and they're 1.8 million. And, uh, but let me tell you what I would do in this area. I met with an architect. There's this wall here. Now look, be behind this wall, if spectacular ocean views. But this is how the home was built in the late 1970s. You have these stairs here. What the architects said we could do is take out this wall completely. It would be really easy to do. Okay, imagine this beautiful home with the great views. Here's the living room, the dining room. And you take out that entire wall. It has two fireplaces here. And I'm gonna go back to the front door. If that is all opened up here, then as soon as you walk in the front door, you see nothing but ocean views coming out. So this entire area could be all ocean views, which is spectacular. Now, another idea I got from the architect, which I pretty much knew before because I met with the builder as well, to take out this wall. You just have a supporting beam up here. So we just have to have a vertical beam here, vertical beam over here, take out this, opens up the kitchen, and the kitchen's beautiful, isn't it? It's all remodeled. Look at those amazing views. I don't know if you can see them here, but there you go. You could even expand this out if you want to. But you could redirect the, um, all of this so this is open. And instead of having the dining room here, since this entire area would be open now because that would be disappearing, and you could always put the fireplace, redirect the fireplace to that wall, which would also serve as the master bedroom. You could expand the kitchen out all the way over here. You could bring it out here because this is all ocean views and they're not taking advantage of it in this home where this is the money. This is where the money is right now. So anyway, I just want you to know this is such an amazing buy and I had to meet with an architect, a builder, just so that I can share with everyone what you can do with this home. And it would have an appraisal originally. I think it was, I have to get a copy from the seller because it's in this state. I think the appraisal was 2.7 million. We have it on the market at 2.2 to 2.4 right now. And the reason why is people can't look past these things. I just took over the listing. Another agent had it before. And as soon as I came in here, I went, oh, I know why it's not selling because people cannot visualize these things. Okay, this is the master bedroom. Okay, picture this. Don't let it catch you off guard right now, okay? But, okay, you're lying in bed. You have this amazing, amazing ocean view. Okay, look at that. Isn't that incredible? You can pop this out if you want to. Very easy to pop out. Pop it out all the way to here still. But what's really cool, look at this. This is what has caused the home from not selling. There's steps that go down to the bathroom. No one likes that, do you? Okay, so how do we go around it? The way we go around it is we make it all level. No steps at all. No steps at all. This is all taken out. This is all taken out. You just have a supporting beam, just one vertical beam. This is all taken out. This is unusable space. That door is drywalled. You see the high ceilings. You have that step, which is right here. I hope you can see my finger. I really have to get a manicure, so excuse that. And you go from this step and the entire level, so it's all the way to here. So everything is one level, and you have the doorway starting up all the way here. So this entire middle area will be the bathroom. There'll be a huge master bathroom, this entire middle area. Okay, then when people come out of their master bathroom, they walk over to this area, which is currently the old master bathroom, but they're not stepping down. It's gonna be the same level as that top step. 
but it's going to be brought out because look at the ceilings. The ceilings are still high. So you could do that. You could bring it all the way out. If you see my finger there, all the way out. Now you're going to notice that the ceiling comes down a little bit there. Um, that is an area where you could either close off the windows. You could even pop this door out if you want. You could drywall it. But a lot of women like to have shoe racks or jewelry displays and stuff. That would be an area where you don't need to put your clothes in there. But you'd have a huge, look at this, women. I mean, wouldn't you like a huge closet this big? That's incredible. You could have, you know, man's side, woman's side should be really basically the whole thing though. <laughs> and then you could have the area in the middle to put, you know, for drawers and everything, but that beautiful quartz top possibly. And then have a skylight right there for natural lighting. So these are just some great ideas. I think we as realtors, we have to do more than just put a home on the market. And I think so many of you are amazing realtors that I'm proud to say are my comrades, but we have to overcome these objections. We have to get price quotes for um, buyers. We have to meet with architects ahead of time. And so um, this architect, by the way, that I met with who is amazing, and I recommend to him to anyone is Scott Hudson, and uh, and he's Scott Hudson's design, and he's at 949-322-7922. And I'll put him on my Facebook. But let me tell you another idea, okay? Keep looking at this hole, it's amazing. Okay, so this bathroom is not another issue. Hi everyone, <laughs> okay. So this is supposedly a half bath. Okay, hi Mar uh, Maggie, oh my gosh. And I love your mom. Okay, so uh, this is a half bath supposedly, but you can make this into a full bath, put a shower, you can have a shower tub. It's really large. Okay, now we, I say the word okay a lot. I notice that in my videos. I'm gonna stop doing that. Okay, uh, see I just said okay again. I'm gonna stop doing that. There's another bathroom behind it. So this is a very spacious bathroom. What Scott was saying, the architect, he said, between this bathroom and the bathroom behind it, there's enough space for three bathrooms. So you can have two full baths and a half bath. There is a bedroom behind this, okay? You could have an end suite here and another access point out here if you want. Then there's another bedroom here. All right, you come down the hallway. Now, I love this area. This is amazing. The views are spectacular. We're, we staged it as an office, but it could be a secondary master bedroom suite. And look at the ocean. I don't know if you can see that I have to zoom in, or not zoom in, I'm not zooming in, by the way, but you can see that's all coastline right there. And look at that, that's all so beautiful. And it's at night, you have a, pa um, a patio up at, up at the top and a patio right here that you could access right there. But an idea that I have, this property has a three car garage. It's 27, 11 square feet. How many people really need a three car garage? Go into this wall possibly. Expand this into a huge secondary master bedroom suite and take advantage of these views and put a bathroom over here because the plumbing is up here. Um, so there's a lot of options here. Go straight down here. Another idea, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I go crazy with ideas. If you wanna take away all these steps, let's just say you're looking at this going, I don't like those steps. What Scott and I were talking about, a way to, redo, to take away all these steps, you make it one level, going all the way out and I'm going to take you out to the front again but you have to do a subterranean garage so and this is the perfect home for a subterranean garage because you're on a slope you're coming straight down and you go straight into a subterranean garage here that would add 600 square feet to the home here and would bring everything on the same level in the house so just some ideas, but let me tell you about how incredible this home is in the community. Monarch Bay Terrace, right now there's so few listings on the market. 
think there's only like four or five and they range from two million to oh in the high five million range and i'll switch this around real fast there you go hi everyone so uh it's a great community because the dues are only thirty dollars a month um really really low oh gosh it's a high sun but i want you to see the views while i'm talking and uh okay so here i'll have that in the background okay so um and you'll god there's all these ocean breezes there is air conditioning in this home but you don't need it at all and what i love about this area is you could literally just walk down a couple streets there's a great um, market gelson's starbucks salt creek grill there's the beach right across the street i mean the beach is literally a, a couple blocks away and if you're a member of the monarch monarch beach resort club it's like an elite club i think it's about eighteen thousand a year the membership but you have incredible privileges because you have the monarch bay club as well as the monarch beach club and you get discounts on golf you get um you can literally drive to the beach you have a valet person there you have valet free valet at the monarch beach hotel they take your towels they put them down for you with your kids um, at night they have happy hour they have music there's Sunday brunch right there on the sand there's always something to do for the kids then you have all the benefits of the hotel as well and you get what I remember 20% off stays for your guests uh, you get 25% off of um, like spa things and off of the gift shops and then 25% off golf lessons you also um, get priority with uh, tea times and you get discounts with tea times as well um, really great place to meet people friends a lot of the people who live here they're members and uh, really I mean great great prices and there's a gym there that you that's absolutely free when you're a member um, and it's part of the Merivale um, ex, you know spa which I love I've been to Merivale in Arizona and I could say I attest to their uh, spa services but you get uh, savings 20% off of all their spa services too so I mean who wouldn't want to live in a place like this so contact me if you have any questions if you want to see this beautiful beautiful home and uh, I'll be happy to uh, get you in and we just took it over and took over the listing we we lowered the price so it would sell right away and I know there is a buyer lingering who's not being represented by me they already brought a builder out but I would love to uh, represent you and uh, I'll leave my information here and go to our website mcguireteam.com and our download our app all you have to do is text mcguire to 90407 and you'll download our the real estate uh, the McGuire team real estate app thank you so much for tuning in everyone have a great day okay enjoy this beautiful beautiful weather of ours bye everyone